Ooh, today's been rough. Buried one Pisces friend and celebrated the life of the birthday of a Virgo friend. Two oppositions. Harmonious and creative similarities. Let's celebrate Virgos and talk a little bit about Pisces. Virgo season, perfection time. Mm. I think I like it. It's the Virgo rising Cancer sun. Taurus moon, child of mine. Setting me up for today's video. Setting up. Water signs. Lost another water sign. I'm celebrating an earth sign. Rest in peace and long live Toya. A happy birthday. Tanika. Thank you, Tanika. Okay, it's going to be. Bring what? Right, let's get this started. Say holla, Zane. Holla back. Welcome to Creative Beings and Tangible Results. Perfection of Greatness, AKA Virgo Season. Whew. Welcome to Addicted to Astrology. It is the tail end of my sister Tanika's birthday. She's a Virgo. She died one week and five years ago in 2015 in Leo season. The tail end of Leo season. Then as we celebrated her life today and what would have been her 37th birthday, I had to bury our other friend, my sister Toya. Both that were creative beings, Pisces and Virgo. Both died in Leo season. Toya actually called me to tell me that Tamika died. She was with me at all of her vigils. Her funeral, and then I left Toya's funeral today and went straight to talk to Pamp at the cemetery for her birthday. So I'm gonna keep it together because I cried a lot of tears today, but that's human nature, isn't it? Shout out to another deceased Virgo, our favorite king of pop. Michael Jackson. His birthday is the 29th, which is in four more days, three more, because we're getting ready to go into the 26th. I used to actually live across the street from where Michael Jackson's tomb is in California, in Glendale. And last year I actually was at his 10th uh, anniversary of his losing his life in June of 20. 09, 2009, and then his birthday, the 10th time we celebrated without him, was August 29th, 2019. I was in California at his grave site. It was also Labor Day weekend. I was living in Vegas, and we went to California for um, Labor Day weekend. 
and we got there on his birthday of last year. So shout out to Michael Jackson, shout out to all Virgos. Um, shout out to all Pisces, the opposition sign of Virgos. Um, they both have very similar characteristics. Very creative people. Many uh, of our favorite artists, Beyonce, Magic, Michael Jackson, Kobe, are Virgos. And a lot of our favorite artists are also Pisces. Rihanna, er Erica Badu, Bow Wow. All creative beings. So we're going to celebrate Virgos, but we're also going to remember the Pisces for my two sisters. Tanika, Skinny Pimp, Fame, Fontanelle, aka Hollywood. I, I swore she was on the West Coast and then when I was over there. And uh, <clears throat> our newest angel, Latoya, Toto, Pastor, Austin. Love you both. Glad y'all can be back together again. Until we meet again. I'm not trying to be too cute for the camera, but I just put some castor oil drops in my head, so this Marley here that Milan, my oldest tourist child, did is very pretty, but uh, it itches really bad. <laughs> and I'm feeling the Virgo vibes. I'm feeling how I need to be more organized and how I need to be more firm and how I need to be more fine-tuning things and taking care of business. Therefore, despite how sad some things can get, there's still gratefulness to be had and heard. I'm still grateful for all the things I'm manifesting, especially with that last uh, Leo new moon. And things just are getting better, even while they may seem that they're getting worse. Remember that Pisces energy. Again, Pisces is the opposition sign for Virgo. That's the only reason we're talking about Pisces now. But that Pisces energy can give illusions, especially with Neptune and retrograde in Pisces. So we're not going to get into that too much. I really just want to concentrate on the opposition signs, Pisces, and the season we are in Virgo. Pisces is mutable water, able to adapt to self and other people's emotions, feelings, intuitive powers. They know how others feel and they can come up with their own feelings about you. It may be a little judgmental, like Virgos can be. They may be a little bit in their heads. Um, this makes Pisces spiritual on a higher level, especially more than most. Most water signs are like this. Pisces being the last water sign, having all the signs in their characteristics. Uh, generally can be on very high vibrating levels and can also be on lower levels. Let's stick to the positive. Creative, imaginary, dreamy, flowing like water. Again, Pisces are water signs. Their signs are the two fish flowing in different directions. Uh, you just want to make sure that none of these characteristics turn into illusions with Pisces. Now, Virgos, Virgos, <sighs> Virgos, this is definitely entanglement season. You know, the two Virgos, it's stirred up things, um, what was that, like a month ago? Uh, Jada and August. <laughs> anyway, 
Virgos uh, are realistic, practical, organized. They improve situations. Uh, they cater to situations. They improve lives and what is happening in life. And they help you get to point A and point B with the organization skills. Um, Virgos have a lot to do with our health and how we take care of our lower body, actually. But Virgos, again... There could be bad fruit in the yard, basically, with Virgos. They fine-tune your life. They get the bad apples out. Um, but at the same time, you could be hard on yourself, uh, wanting perfection in things. Very detailed and organized. And the universe is actually blessing us with this kind of heavy energy where we are getting in the mode to make sure that the new era that we moved into from Leo season, from the new Leo moon, the new moon in Leo that just happened uh, last week on the 18th, actually. The Virgo sun is giving energy to what is next what is what how we're going to do how we're going to fine tune how we're going to work how we're going to manage the new era that the new moon in leo put us into remember the 8 8 lions gate also was a big thing this has been a big month of manifestations i can i can definitely testify that there are manifestations going on in my own personal life that I talked into existence exactly six months ago. That's why you do. You write down new moon intentions on the new moon so that you can talk into existence what will happen in your future. And I can easily go back and see the things that I have written down are coming into fruition. Is that the word? <laughs> All right. So basically, Virgos can get themselves worked up because things aren't going as organized or as planned. But the Pisces side, Pisces characteristics, take it to a higher level where uh, being creative helps you push through the need to have everything perfect, if that makes sense. Pisces give faith to Virgos because as their opposites. Um, Pisces, because it's the 12th sign, six signs before that is Virgo. The sixth house is Virgo, and the 12th house is Pisces. And these energies are coming into fruit, coming into the universe right now as well. Planets move all day, but the houses actually move every hour or every two hours, I believe. And the sun in Virgo right now takes us into the sixth house energies as well as the 12th house energies. The sixth house is actually having the entanglement with the 12th house right now. <laughs> oh, phone fell. All right, so 12th house will take you into the la-la land type of dreamy, illusional kind of situations may make you procrastinate on some of those things you want to do with the sixth house, some of those things you want to organize and get done and perfect or overthink. Um, you might even overthink about how people feel about you. And that is the sixth house energy, the twelfth house energy. The illusions may make you feel like others' opinions matter, but they really don't. You know, you don't have to live your life worrying about likes. I know I'm very happy with this little family I have on YouTube. I definitely accept more uh, subscribers and I want to tell the world how great astrology is. But um, I'm not fixated on it. I'm more fixated on getting information correct and learning and building my own knowledge so I can share once those people care to join. Um, 
So basically, when in the 12th house on that spirituality level, don't base your spirituality on likes or follows or subscribes. I know there's wonderful astrologers out here on social media uh, who do not. Who actually are just really wanting to give energy and give good energy and give good um, information like myself and have grown and have a nurturing family of curious people in astrology and want to learn about the real energies that involve us all every day every second of the day so anyway all this 12th house 6th house Virgo Pisces energy is coming on to the universe right now and whatever theme that is going on individually and collectively right now politically um, anything that has to do with everything right now you want to pull away from these 6th house and 12th house negative sides the judging the separation the acting out negative energies rage wars protests energies that negatively influence the I the I meaning not the collective not the the glue that keeps everyone unified the eye there's no power in in the eye there's really power in groups the power in the eye brings the separation the power in the eye can do it myself i am independent and you know it's even a person like me i have to learn how to accept we beyond my immediate responsibilities like my children i have to really kind of buckle down if i'm ever going to get back in a relationship i'm still young enough to you know i have to get back and back away from the eye there's definitely power in two and more um the sun in virgo is now spotlighting on health when it was in leo it was spotlighting on you know um our strengths are our dares, our bravery, our childlike uh, ventures. And now with the sun in Virgo, it's giving us security, health, success without the stress. Um, your spirits are rising from positivity and you remember your more, you remember your subconscious and you become more conscious. You become more aware you become more grounded. Virgo is an earth sign. Um, and once you get grounded and once you get organized and once you get healthy and once you get success, there is no more worries. So this energy going all over the universe right now will bring exactly what we need from yet another tough quarter of this 2020 year. Um, let's talk about some September highlights. So again, Pisces is the Virgo opposition sign. Remember the new moon is generally the now that we switched from the two cancer moons that we had, the two cancer new moons we had in 2020. We switched the new moon to being at the end of a zodiac sign. So the Leo new moon was at the end of Leo season. Virgo new moon will be at the end of Virgo season. So we have the full moon, the opposite moon, right? So the full moon is 100% illuminating to the eye on earth. The new moon you cannot see because it's 0% illuminating. It's dark. So we've just had the little new moon, the dark moon. Actually, the half moon was yesterday. It was a Scorpio moon. We're now in Sagittarius moon. And the full moon in Pisces, the opposition sign of Virgo, is on September 1st. This is completion energy. Pisces is this 12th sign, the final sign. This is us completing a cycle. 
Again, we just went into a new era with Leo, the new Leo, uh, the new Leo moon, one week ago. Two weeks after the the new moon comes the full moon, completing the cycle, showing us that we really are going to something new. The Pisces moon in Virgo sun season is basically fine tuning time. It's time to get ready to figure out how we're going to work this new era that we're going into. It's time to take all the dreams from the Pisces moon and the Pisces energy and perfect it. Earth signs are physical, material type of people need physical gratification, mainly Tauruses. Virgos want, want to give more physical gratification. Very giving people. Um, but they do like the finer things. All earth signs do. So, there's a few aspects that we're going to discuss really quick. Being One being trine, which is the creative union of certain uh, groups of signs, elements of signs, that's what I'm trying to say. So Uranus being in Taurus, another earth sign, will trine the Virgo sun on the full moon day, which is April, I'm sorry, April, where am I? September 1st, a jolt of solutions, possibilities, opportunities, liberation, and tangible material things will come. This could be finances. This can be um, a business opportunity. This could be a job um, promotion. This could be good. <laughs> um, when the moon moves in Taurus on September the 7th, another earth sign moon, it will trine the sun in Virgo again. Trine is a creative balance. Uranus is the rebellious, the surprise planet um, in a sign that is materialistic. So that to me, I'm interpreting finances or something tangible coming to you because it is trining the sun, what is putting its spotlight on. Maybe you'll have the spotlight on you at your job. I know that's one of the feeling I'm getting because I'm doing really well. Not to toot my own horn, but me and my boss. <laughs> and um, it's showing, you know, I'm definitely stepping into a new era. A month ago, five weeks ago, I don't know what was gonna become of me. But anyway, uh, earth signs build up life. They build up your finances. They build up your health. The energies, um, are again, offer physical, material rewards with finances, career, your reputation, things you possess. So this is looking good. Again, sometimes it looks bad before it looks good. On September 13th and the 14th, around that time, the sun will travel one degree a day. The sun always travels one degree a day. It goes through 30 days and it changes its uh, zodiac sign. And the sun in Virgo will trine Pluto in Capricorn. So it's first trine the moon in Taurus and um, Uranus in Taurus. Now it'll trine the other earth sign, Capricorn and all the planets that are in Capricorn, first being Pluto in Capricorn. That to me, I'm interpreting transition of structure, changing, and the spotlight on that structure changing. I'm really thinking that the government is going to break down even more, but for beneficial ways. I'm also thinking that they'll finally give some monies that are owed. And I'm going to talk that into existence. Um, refining again. Capricorn refines things. It makes things more solid, more structured, tied in with this fellow earth sign creatively to bring certainty, power, 
important decisions being made, commitments, support, and transformations with Pluto trining the sun in Virgo. Anything you've been going through is about to come and reward you. The sun and moon are both in Virgo at 25 degrees on September the 17th. And it'll trine again. Trine is the vocabulary word for today. Trine is an aspect in astrology that brings together two planets in a perfect union with the same element. So we're talking about all the earth signs. It'll trine the sun in Virgo and the moon in Virgo. So this is when the new moon will be happening on September 17th at 25 degrees. Both of them will trine Saturn at 25 degrees in retrograde in Capricorn. This is very supportive energy showing us where to take our life next, especially with the collective <clears throat> and individually. And Earth signs, again, are based on physical reality. So here again, we can expect all September to be some kind of rewarding physical, financial, something to do with our finances or our come up, our come up. <clears throat> the trine energy is developmental, opening. It can also be flooring, the ground, the earth signs, building. It can um, build all the creations that we've been working on with that creative Pisces characteristics that Virgos have. Um, just to piggyback, because I didn't talk about this, and I'm dedicating this show again to my two sisters who've passed on and are our ancestors now. Um, Toya used to dress me. Like, she used to be like, are you wearing that? You know, and let's go shopping. Let me get you straight. And I remember one of the things that she dressed me in one day was a purple dress. I'm going to show y'all. We used to love going to Torrid, the cutest store for big girls. And um, if she wasn't dressing me and dressing my kids even and just telling me what, you know, she was like a stylist in her own way. Again, Pisces are creative people. She would style people's birthdays. Like every birthday party had to be the bomb. Of course, her daughter London's birthday had to be the bomb. Always laid out, always extravagant. Anybody's parties, always extravagant, always the best foods, best treats, best decorations. And then when Pimp was alive, and I remember me and Pimp both went to one of London's parties and took our kids. Our daughters are all kind of the same age, our youngest. Um, it was like Pimp got in the mode to help out as the Virgo. She wanted to take the kids and, you know, put them in a circle and uh, distract them from whatever the toy or the person that was having the party was set up. It was just like, you know, they were perfect. Uh, take care of brighten your day kind of, you know, um, creative. Pimp used to even make, uh, she did hair and she made um, clothes. <clears throat> so they just both had that, that creative energy they could have made. They could have made great businesses out of the energy that they have and the creativity that they showed and um, I just wish they were both here to know that they were loved and, and that they were great. But they know that from above. The uh, funeral today was beautiful. The, the candlelight vigil we had a week and a half ago was beautiful for Toya. Um, <clears throat> Shantae, Pimp's best friend and her sister and another friend and a few cousins and family members were at her grave before I got there today. And they set it up so nicely. I'm gonna throw some pictures in this video. But anyway, you can just tell the mark that they put on everyone with their creativity, including me. I try to just dress in simple black. I couldn't find anything purple quick enough. 
couldn't get the tour quick enough, but when I do, I'm definitely gonna get something purple in honor of Latoya Austin. Okay, so on your birth chart, <clears throat> if you have any earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, between 10 degrees and 25 degrees of Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, you are feeling this energy heavy. And I know that <clears throat> my moon, I believe, is in 23 degrees of Capricorn, if I'm not mistaken. I don't have any Virgo or Taurus on my chart. I do have 12th house in Pluto, so I would definitely feel that transformation on the 7th. Yes. With the Pluto in Capricorn trining. Uh, <clears throat> with Pluto and Capricorn trining the Sun and Virgo. I don't have Capricorn and Pluto. My Pluto is in Libra. But again, I have 12th house. So if you have any 6th and 12th house on your chart heavy in specific planets, if you have any um, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus planets, you will definitely feel this energy and rewards. So get excited. I know I am because I have the Capricorn moon. <laughs> I don't have much earth on my sign. I'm more water and fire and air. Capricorn moon is actually the only earth sign I have on my chart. But I do, again, have 12th house in Pluto and in North Node. So my destiny is to be on a higher level. My destiny, the North Node is your destiny, and my North Node is in the 12th house, which means I'm destined to be on a higher level. And I'm going to go with that. <laughs> All right, so... You make the most of these opportunities if you have these on your birth charts. I always refer to the birth charts. I actually just went up on the price of birth charts, $35 now. If you are a Virgo, you get $5 off. I plan on going up every two months until January 21st, where I'll cap off around 65. We'll round it up to 70. Um, I will get and add more of... Uh, interpretations of each thing on your each transition each house on your um birth charts but the reason that they are cheaper than most is because i just deal with the most distinct thing i want you to pay attention to the most thing i think needs stands out especially for your destiny wise um houses and the north node are something i want to focus on for people more now as an astrologer and get people going in the right path for their destiny so anyway uh, I mean shout me out or hit me up on Instagram on Instagram I am Z hustle Z E E underscore H U S S L E on Facebook I'm Zakia Z A K I A Alex hate A L E X H-A-T-E, that's a play on my last two names. Or you can send me a message under here in the comments section about getting your birth chart done. I'm also part of the Bruja Society, and I'm plugging a lot real quick and talking quickly, but we're almost done. The Bruja Society is a wonderful spiritual group that I joined, that I've done three podcasts so far. Hit me up for those details. We're on Apple Music, we're on Spotify. I'm sorry, we're on Apple Podcasts, and we're on Spotify and anchor all right there is another aspect mostly it's trine season but of course it's still square season it's a lot of squares going on in august august and the end of july was lit for leo season i was in facebook jail the whole time i guess that's what all those squares was about i was bringing conflict and facebook was tired of my shenanigans but mars in aries also is ruled uh, I mean, Air, I'm sorry, Mars also rules Scorpio, but Mars is in Aries, squaring Saturn. So Scorpios will definitely feel this as well, Saturn, squaring Saturn and Capricorn. This happened yesterday, actually. Um, when it squared, the action planet is being slowed down by the regulation planets <laughs> and the regulation sign. The action sign and the action planet 
they're both at home. Mars is, uh, I mean, Aries is at home in Mars. Capricorn is at home in Saturn. Double trouble when you have uh, a sign in its home. So this square, I can say I felt it um, because I am being slowed down still by certain things. I have not gotten my move date in, my moving in date yet. Um, I want to take action on moving, right? But I feel like it's just being better mapped out, better planned out. And so I'm okay with the regulation for now. <laughs> Um, and then we have one more trine with Mercury that's already in Virgo. Mercury is uh, moving pretty fast since it came out of retrograde uh, two months back. And Mer Mercury is trining Uranus and Taurus. So those, again, are the two Earth signs coming together creatively on August the 25th, which is today. <laughs> Actually, it was yesterday. Um... So I bounced back a little bit. I came out of September. This is um, going to bring up ideas and solutions, connections. It's a good day to communicate. I definitely communicated. Um, I can say when I when I wrote these notes. Now that I'm looking back at them, I knew when I wrote these notes that this was going to be a, a big day because of the funeral and me going to the cemetery. Of course, I saw a lot of people at the funeral that I hadn't talked to because I hold grudges as a Scorpio very well. And I gave them hugs. Um, one was with another Scorpio and we gave each other elbows because Scorpios are still going to give shade, but at least we spoke. And um, I'm just going to work on not holding grudges anymore, especially because I lost a friend who I was unfortunately holding grudges with before I got to say goodbye. I did speak to her again on Mother's Day of this year and said positive things but we still weren't really tight as we used to be so i'm working on that <laughs> but um this was a good day to communicate mercury the communication planet i definitely um put my differences aside uh, working on me fine-tuning me it was a good day to 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 let that be the past and talk to people and Uranus again being the the, the planet of surprise I got good re receptive energy back nobody turned me away because we've been arguing stupidly for the past however long but it was a good conversation um, I really didn't have to address something but if you did have to address something today maybe it helped you get to the bottom of things today was a good day for that now also today venus and cancer venus is still moving a little slow um due to its retrograde but it is opposing jupiter and capricorn so there's that capricorn and cancer energy again venus shows us what we want and desire and balancing uh and assessing realistic things that are happening and Venus we call her her in her favor she will also oppose Pluto and Saturn and Capricorn as well but things will go in her favor in her favor they're all in retrograde except Venus and this will not feel good but it will uh cancer feels all the feels anyway right so Venus being in cancer what you will learn from this is how to get those feelings in order. Um, the Capricorn energy opposing the Cancer energy is ending about, it's ending like all the feelings. It's ending how you worry about the feelings. You're being more loving and especially in Virgo season, less hard on yourself. Um healing is with cancer's energy too so all the external world the cancer also is like childlike and things from your past that need to be nurtured and capricorn is the adult uh planet that is basically giving you 
it's working together to give you that nurturing, caretaking energy that you needed to give yourself. Got to start with the inner anyway before the external can do anything for you. So you're your own caretaker right now. You are what you need and you're helping what you still need with the Venus in Cancer opposing Jupiter in Pluto. So um, that is actually all the notes I have for today. I hope that wasn't too much. I'm working on making my uh, episode shorter. Again, because I am not only high as a kite right now, and I'm just joking, but um, I have long days, but I'm grateful nonetheless of the position that I have been put in. Uh, I feel like I'm in a Saturn in Capricorn state with my job, but it's a new, a new situation. Again, these Uranus and Taurus energies are giving positive energies. Then we have the health, fine tuning, perfecting, uh, organizing energy of Virgo it's a really good time. It's a really good time to put on your, buckle up your boots and get things in order. Libra season is more harmonious and laid back and free flowing. Then Scorpio energy is more dark. So let's take this energy and this opportunity right now in Virgo season to not be so hard on ourselves, but be more organized and more dedicated to our creative ventures. Pisces Virgo energy. Again, rest in peace to my two sisters, the Virgo Tanika and Latoya the Pisces. I'm Zakia TMZ, teaching everyone abundantly, empowering many. Zakia, enlightening every day. I love y'all. Thank you for viewing, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will see y'all soon, hopefully on Sunday. I'm also not trying to perfect how I have to be on here on every Wednesday and Sunday. I'm learning how to just do what I can, get the information in, do the birth charts I do, service the community like I do now as a supervisor. I'm a supervisor. I was a teacher, but I was never a principal, and I feel like a principal is a supervisor. I have 30 people who count on me, and the whole city counts on them. So I got to get my rest. Y'all have a wonderful week. Enjoy the pictures that I post of my sisters and my day with them. And I will talk to y'all soon.